as highly touted a prospect as there is in mixed martial arts at present. Enter the undefeated future Ian Machado Garrett. Cardio is his best weapon. He hasn't even had to use it necessarily in realizing all of this UFC success thus far. Tremendous long range weapons, underrated in the clinch, underrated as a grappler. But I guess for me, it's the appetite for knowledge that really jumps out of the fighter meeting. This man has traveled the world in search of different mixed martial arts skills and now training under the watchful eye of Diego Lima at Shootbox in Brazil. We'll see if Ian Machado Garrett can take his career to that requisite next level here tonight. All right, champ, I'm excited for this one, and you're cracking a wry smile. I know you are, too. This is a kickboxer of the highest order, and he's made no bones about it. He believes that if this fight is contested on the feet, he's going to wax this guy early. He's going to get the job done. He has 100% confidence that if they're standing, he's better. And why would he not? He is one of those kickboxers that is on the level of Edesanya, Pareda, and Alistair Overeem. He sits amongst the best to come from that sport and apply it to mixed martial arts. He's got a well-rounded skill set outside of kickboxing, but the kickboxing is what makes him special. Yeah, it was interesting to hear Alex Pereira, the middleweight champion, praise him recently, sort of unsolicitedly. So needless to say, the eyes of the sport are fixed upon this kickboxer here tonight. Well, a lot of us remember when this arena was erected and a lot of UFC history has played out here since. Eddie Hot Arena sold out tonight in Abu Dhabi for the latest UFC pay-per-view. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the future Ian Machado Garrett. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Nasruddin Ibaba. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. All right, so here's the French middleweight contender, Nasser Dini Ibaba, getting back to it as this round gets underway. He's had a lot of big moments in the UFC thus far, and he believes that there are going to be opportunities for him to take advantage of what he perceives to be a grappling edge in this matchup tonight. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills on this play. And now some separation. Gary gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Both guys appeared to land there. Across the midpoint in round one. Makes your perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, right hand landed. There you go. Fighters in the clinch again. Oh, big knee. Now some separation from his clinch position. 
Imavov gets caught by that straight punch. You got to do better than that defensively. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Clean execution on that leg kick. Imavov gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, look at that leg kick. Imavov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, you don't want to take too many kicks on that calf, and now it's starting to show some visible damage. You can see the color starting to change on the calf. He's taking too many of his kicks. All right, single collar timeout. Final seconds here. Five minutes in the books. Ready. Ready. Go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance after the goal. Whoa, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Big left hand lands upstairs. Oh, great block there. Wow, huge head kick. Big head kick. Leg kicks all day. His mobility is compromised. Might get it back a little bit as the fight continues, but that's an obvious limp right now. Well, it's going to take ice on the calf, ice on the thigh when he gets to the corner to try and bring it back. But once you get dead leg, there's not much you can do. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. And now some separation. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy... Oh! Back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Leg kick lands. Right hook to the head blocked. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Ian Machado Garrett. Straight punch is good. Right on the button. Imavov dealing with an obvious limp right now. Perhaps it was that last kick to the right leg that caused him the problem. So we'll see if he can start checking some of those and make the adjustment. But clearly this is a storyline that could emerge throughout the rest of this fight. So he lands a double jab there. He continues. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. And the horn sounds on round two. 
All right, heading back to the corner now, and we will keep a close eye on things. Machado Gary's corner has some work to do. They're going to take a look at that lip. Hopefully, the cut man can do his thing and just make sure that it doesn't continue to bleed and provide further adversity for him in this fight. All right, big moment in that round, of course, the strike that caused the cut to the lip. Certainly, it's not shades of Robbie Lawler nor Alistair Overeem, but the cut does bear watching as we move forward. And it still hurts. I mean, it still hurts. Every, I mean, honestly, everything hurts in the octagon, and that shot looked like it hurt a ton. But what the story will be is that it opened up that cut on the lip. How does he avoid taking too much damage back to that spot? He's got to move his head off that center line as he's moving forward. And there's only so much a cut man can do to stop bleeding in the mouth area, so we will continue to monitor that cut as this fight presses forward. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happened. The two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next one. Clinch position. Beautiful elbow over the top. Looking to land the right just out of range. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Checks the leg kick. Oh, you can start to see him limping a little bit after one of those leg kicks, so better make some adjustments or this fight could be over. You don't want to show it. That's why you see fighters when they get hurt, they smile. To be limping out there tells you how damaged this guy is. What a great job getting that kick to the target. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm gonna be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the lamp punches, so look for a submission attempt. 90 seconds to go. Great shots from the top position. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right? is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Imavov's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack it. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now he's got that massive cut on the Ready bridge of his nose. Ready. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. 
Right now, you have got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Three minutes. Hands higher! Hands higher! Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Nasor Dini Mabov's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Do not stand up. Let's go. Takedown defense is there. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. Oh, what a shot there. He's lucky his head's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was Overeem versus Ngannou, and you know they still haven't found Alistair Overeem's head. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in D.C. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Low kick lands flush. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Nice jab by Imabov. Straight and huge shot. Heard him again. Oh, how good is that? He's oh, so what an end to the round. He got knocked down just before the final horn. You can classify that as saved by the bell. You got the better of you that round. You battered you a little bit. You hung that tough. You showed you have heart to be a champion. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Shadow carries. Shot is blocked. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time... Oh, you heard him bad. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Nasur Dini Baba. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to it. Oh. He's in a lot of trouble now. Machado Gary gets stung by that leg kick. All right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Under three minutes remain in round five. Both are prepared. These are the types of fights that we expect. Mavov gets the single leg takedown. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Mavov's eye starting to swell now. I need you to scramble. Scramble. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 
Good work from the top here by Novov. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. He's hurt bad. What a last minute! Sordini Mavov's knee to the body. That one blocked by the opponent. How the judges saw it. After five Here is Bruce rounds, Buffett. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, the future Ian Machado All right, so DC, nobody's surprised to hear those scorecards as the more well-rounded athlete gets it done over a fighter who's primarily a kickboxer at this stage of his career. Yeah, at this stage of his career, he just kickboxes still. But he showed good on himself. But it was all about the well-rounded guy. Winning the exchanges that mattered. Getting the takedowns when he needed to. And really putting on a dominant performance. I understand that it's a decision. But not all decisions are created equally. Yeah. And this one was dominant.